Our research has two goals, identifying the risks that AI can bring to society, as well as understanding the opportunities that this technology brings about to improve individual well-being and societal welfare. On the one side, AI can improve cybersecurity to quite some extent because it can monitor systems and identify attacks much quicker and much more efficiently than a human um, expert. On the other side, this monitoring poses risks which have to do with mass surveillance and might encroach upon individual rights such as anonymity, privacy and freedom of information. So part of the research I do has to do with identifying ways to make sure that while we make the most of the potential of AI for cybersecurity, we won't encroach upon fundamental human rights. AI can help us in countering attacks and in deterring attackers from targeting our national critical infrastructures. This good potential is coupled with risks of proportionality and escalations of responses. To avoid these risks, it's important that we define the rules and the principles that shape state behavior in cyberspace. And this has been a core aspect of the research I've developed over the past 10 years. Ethical questions about AI are complex, but it's crucial that we address them now, while AI is still in its early days. This is to make sure that we mitigate the risks that it will bring about, but also that we harness its full potential for the goods of societies and the well-being of the humankind. And this is a core part of the work that we do at the Digital Ethics Lab.